everybody welcome to my channel if you're new here my name is Debbie this is my crafty den and this is my Friday video so it is a haul and today it's a Dollarama haul I always put my hauls up and my happy mail my fun finds of the week up on Friday if you're interested so you know to watch for them on Fridays so this week let me show you what I got if you hear a lot of noises in the background, I'm still in the camper. Of course, I'm going to be here all summer, guys. It's just way too beautiful. Right now, the sun is shining. I'm parked under a couple of trees. My son set the camper up so that I would have trees along this side. So I kind of get a dappled light. It makes lighting in here a little bit difficult, but it makes the temperature wonderful <laughs> so i open my side windows and i get a perfect cross breeze i'm in the shade i'm happy yeah so let me see what should i start with um okay so last week or a couple weeks ago i hauled a bag of whiskus cat food from dollarama now their cat food there is how much is this one I didn't lose my receipt this week, guys. <laughs> the Meow Mix. I bought Meow Mix this time. So I've been having trouble trying to get Lucy to eat anything but Whiskas. And they, they didn't have any that I didn't like the expiry date on. I'm really careful buying any food or pad products at Dollarama. I'm careful with my dates. I don't want it to be outdated. I buy store brands that are, or, or brand names that I'm going to find at the grocery store. I'm not buying any strange no-name brand items for myself or the pets to eat there. I'm sticking to brands that I know. And my last cat loved this stuff. I don't think I've ever tried Lucy on it. So I'm going to try her on Meow Mix and see how she likes it. This was only $2 and it is 500 grams. If you want to try your pet on something new, I mean, this is the way to go. So the expiration date on this is uh, September the 28th. 2023 so the expiration date on this is good this is pretty fresh actually so i got that two dollars that's a good buy and i'm hoping that she'll like it because it would be nice if she liked a few different things and i could change her food out and give her some variety i picked up for myself i buy this harvest crunch at foodland all the time this box is three dollars it's it's almost six at the grocery store. So once again, checking the expiry date, I, this is going to last till October, this box, this is going to be empty next week. So yeah, <laughs> I don't mind. I mean, if it's before the expiry date, it doesn't taste stale. It's the same brand that I buy when I shop elsewhere. I think that's a save and of course, I pick up my bottled water there. I like these big bottles for when I'm traveling. As soon as I go in the car, I grab a big bottle of water and take it with me. Because if you're stopping at a gas station and grabbing a bottle of water, they want to charge um, $2.75 for a bottle of water. And I'm talking the little size. These are two for $1.25. Um... On my bill, I bought two bottles, and on my bill, they charged me 63 cents for each one, and then they take off a penny. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's how the bill reads. So $1.25 for two bottles. And this one, I love the top, guys. It has a it has a pop top on it. And I love this. And the reason that I love it is because I carry one around the yard with me when I'm doing chores all the time. I can just smash that lid down and lay it down anywhere. So those are 50 cents each, two for a dollar. 
I know the bigger bottle is the better buy, but the smaller bottle is more convenient when you're outside and walking. I also bought a can of kombucha there. I always made my own kombucha. For years, I was making my own kombucha. I have to get back to doing that, but there's no room in the camper for it. I saw this three weeks ago, four weeks ago was the first time I saw it at Dollarama. Probably the, sh the one that I was shopping at didn't have it, but this one does. It is this brand, Remedy, and this is $2. It's cheaper than the grocery store as well, guys. Now, there's only five calories in a can of kombucha, but the health benefits of kombucha are amazing. So do some research on it, see what it's all about, and give it a try. I mean, before you start making your own, this is the way to go. Try some and see if you like it. So for my snacks for the week, I also grabbed two more of the Island Bars. These are just coconut and chocolate. If you like coconut, that's, that's a great combination. So they are 50 cents each, two for a dollar. So shopping at the Dollarama is really good bargains. So what you have to remember is that you have to do your research as well. If you see something that seems like it's a good buy, but you're not sure, check it out in another store first. But overall, Dollarama does save you some money. So this isn't food, but it's food related. I picked up these guys. Now there are five containers in here and they are, I'm going to show you, they are divided like this and have lids. So five of them for $4 is a great price. And when I saw them, I thought when I'm cooking for myself, especially when I'm home more so than in the camper, um, when I'm cooking for myself, I tend to cook too much. I'm still cooking for myself and my husband and a little bit of leftovers. That's too much food. But these reminded me of TV dinners, you know, good old fashioned TV dinners. And I thought, why not use the leftovers as I cook a meal? That is the geese, by the way. <laughs> um, he's mad about something. Somebody's getting too close to his lady. So I thought, why not make my own TV dinners with the leftovers and put them in the freezer? These are BPA free. On the bottom, it's got the symbols for food safe, wash in the sink, so not dishwasher safe, uh, microwavable, and freezer safe, and recyclable. So it's got those symbols right across the bottom here. So yeah, they'll work fine. I don't know how many times I'd be able to put something in it and freeze it and then thaw it and microwave it, but... I mean, they are less than a dollar a piece, guys. So that's a good price. Okay, household related. I grab my paper towels. These are good paper towels. They kind of remind me of Bounty. They are, uh, the it just says the quilted paper towels. It has 140 two-ply towels. And these are a dollar twenty-five. And that's another thing that you have to do too. These have 140 sheets. I did the count for the ones that had two rolls and they were 225 or 250. I'm not sure, but this worked out to be the better buy. Buying one large roll worked out to be a better buy than buying the two rolls together. You got to do your math. I have a project coming up that I'm going to do and I needed a few things for it. I had almost everything. I needed one of these, just one of these, but they're three in a package for $1.75, and these are just the terracotta bowls that your pots sit in. They don't have the hole in the bottom, but I needed one, so I got a package of three. <laughs> I needed red paint, so I grabbed the red. 
Uh, this is just bright red. They had Christmas red and a deep red there as well. But this is just a bright red and that's what I wanted. I also got some baby powder just because it's been so hot and with the hot weather comes a whole issue of problems and baby powder is nice in the hot weather. It's nice. It's absorbent. It smells nice. You know, all the checks, all the boxes. And so I grabbed some baby powder. This was three fifty there. I don't think that's a good buy, but I was there. So that's the other thing. If you're going to buy something because you're there, how much is it going to cost you at over $2 a liter for gas to even go down the road to the next store and save 10 cents? Um, you have to look at that as well. For that project with the paint and the little terracotta tray, I picked up some. These are just called River Rocks and they were $1.25. These are heavy, but this is a nice big bag, guys. And these are all different colors of rocks. I mean, they really literally look like river rocks because they're all tumbled and smooth. There's no sharp edges. And this is what I wanted. I wasn't going out and picking stone by stone off the road and then washing them and cleaning them. And yeah, so you can do that if you want to. I wasn't doing it when I could get a big bag like this for $1.25. It's just a cardboard box. Now, these came in different sizes. There was smaller ones there as well. I think they were a dollar. But this one was a dollar twenty-five, And it is, I bet it's about five inches across this way. So, it's just the size that I wanted. I saw a TikTok and somebody was using one of these boxes. And I want to try it. So, I got myself a little cardboard box. About a month ago, I hauled these in the squares. These are six MDF boards for $4. And these are the rounds. And yes, so I got the squares at home. These things are perfect, guys, for those signs that we want to make, for those projects that we want to make where we get ourselves a round sign or a square sign. And then we have to paint over it or sand it down because it's already got stuff on it. This is a blank to use for those projects. And I showed on the last haul, I opened them and showed them. And these are a decent size and thickness. And it's MDF, so it's nice and strong. And yes. Now, they're MDF, which is glued particle board. And because of that, this isn't something that you want to throw outside in the weather. This will absorb water and fall apart. So indoor signs, indoor signs. <laughs> so I got myself those. I always check books, but I don't usually check the children's books. And this caught my eye. Yeah, it's a Toy Story, basically a Toy Story comic book guys and be, but because it's a comic book these images like Woody right here these images are all a decently small size so if you've watched my planner videos then you'll know that I often do my own themes and I do things that try to save money so these children's books were so this one was $1.25, and there's a series. So there's Mickey Mouse, there's Toy Story, there's Frozen, and there's the Disney Princesses. So the pictures are really cute. Like, look at this. Like, isn't that adorable? So my thoughts are... These would make great planner spreads. I could do a Toy Story planner spread. And the other one that I got, because I've done a few Wizard of Oz, Dorothy um, spreads in my planner over the years. And I've bought stickers to do that. And they were expensive. That is the tree. The wind just started blowing. And that's the tree hitting the corner of my camper. Um, 
it just barely touches, but it does make that noise. So this is called Dorothy and Toto Little Dog Lost. This one was a dollar fifty, but just look at how stinking adorable that is. And there's a lot of things that you could put in your spread like this, just the word. The words could be cut out and put in your spread. And like how little this one here is right here. Now that would make a great full box sticker. They're really, really cute. So I am going to do a couple of spreads coming up. And I am going to use these sticker books, or these, I'm calling them sticker books already. I'm going to use these storybooks to make pieces to do my own spreads. So if you are into that type of thing, you know, watch out for those videos because I think they're going to turn out really, really cute. The second last thing that I got was an umbrella. So my granddaughter was in a horse show this past Saturday, did really, really well, came away with the Grand Champion Trophy, really proud of her. It was just a small horse show, um, but this is only her second summer. She's only been riding for about 18 months. She, it's like she was born on a horse, but she's doing really, really well, and I'm so proud of her. But the horse shows are long. They're an all-day thing. Sometimes they're a two-day thing. And I sat out in the sun, and I forgot my hat. Haven't been feeling the greatest this week. I got too much sun on the weekend, and that takes me a little bit to get over. So rather than have a hat... I bought myself an umbrella. This was $3.50. So $3.50 for this umbrella. It's plaid. It'll match the whole plaid theme for the Western style that she does. She does both. She does English and Western style riding. And I'm just going to get myself a lawn chair, put my umbrella over my head, enjoy whatever breeze that there is, and enjoy my day. And this covers the sun and the rain, so I'll be good on all fronts. The last thing I got, and this was the one thing that I was looking for, I picked up this caddy. So it has four containers in here and a handle and I plan on it was did I say it was four dollars and I plan on putting together an outdoor toolbox with my rope my clips my pliers things for repairing cages treats for the animals all that type of thing in here with these four sections I should be able to have it covered and I'll be able to just grab this and go and it should be a lot easier to go outside and do checks and repairs and things like that when I'm doing my outdoor chores. I can't even tell you how many trips I've made back and forth to the tool shed to get stuff when I'm out and about and I see things that need to be done. So that's my, that's what I was going for. Um, it's just amazing how I go for one thing and all this other stuff ends up in my cart and it happens to me every week, darn Dollarama. So I hope you enjoyed the haul this week. If you did, give it a thumbs up, make the YouTube algorithms happy and Give me a comment. Let me know what was your favorite thing that I found this week. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that now before you leave. And I will see everybody in the next video. Until then, bye-bye for now, everyone.